Welcome to SaceFrame 2.0 video trainings and this video is intended to help you with installing a module and assigning it to the different page layouts. In order to be able to manage modules, you first need to log into the SaceFrame dashboard as a super user. On the SaceFrame C panel, click on modules which prompts you to modules management page. Here you have options to install module, create new module, create composite module, and also to create packages for the same. Apart from saves from default modules, as a super user, you can also install modules as per your requirement. The .zip installation files for modules can be downloaded from SageFrame website, that is www.sageframe.com. Let me quickly show you to install a module. For that, you need to click on this icon for install module. Quickly browse the .zip file that you have acquired from SageFrame website and click the next button. Click the next button on install module page again. Read the release notes and hit the next button. Make sure to go through module license terms and you must click on the accept license checkbox to continue with the installation and hit the next button again. Once the module has been installed successfully, you need to click the Finish Installation button. The newly installed module will be listed in the Modules Management page. Next up, revert to SageFrame Control Panel and click on Page Modules to apply the newly added module to a page layout. The Page module of SageStream provides a template-based wireframe for each pages. Moreover, you can create a personalized page layout by assigning modules to wireframe by simple drag and drop. To assign, to assign and manage modules in a page, you need to select general radio button to assign modules to general pages, or you can select admin radio button to apply modules to admin pages only. I'm going to leave general radio button selected. Next up, select any specific page that you want to work on from the drop down list of website pages. I'm going to leave home page as selected. Now let's find the module that we just installed from the list of modules. And you can drag and drop the module to any pane in the website. As soon as you drag and drop the module to a desired pane, you are prompted with module details pop-up. Here you need to enter the basic details for module and set the permissions for the same. Enter the module title to appear in the wireframe. enter a header text for the module and click on the checkbox to display it on the front end. Module suffix class is optional which will create a class name for the module in the front end. This is mainly for designers to ease them design the page. Click on its active checkbox to have module visible in the front end. You need to click on all checkbox to display the module and its content in all pages of the site or, or you can also customize checkbox to display module only in the selected pages. Somehow I'm going to leave both the fields unchecked as I have already a page that I'm working on. You need to click on inherit permissions from page checkbox to automatically inherit the permissions for the user or roles that we allocated for the page that we are currently working on. Click on do not show this pop-up again. Do not show the module details pop-up overlay for any modules that are dragged and dropped until the page is refreshed. Next up on permissions tab, you can set permissions depending on users and rows. You can 
provide the permissions to a specific user by putting the username here and simply clicking on the search option. I'm going to allow my anonymous users to have the view access, whereas the site admin will also have access to manage the module by editing it. And once I'm done, I'm going to click on the save option and the user module will be added successfully. Now each module in SageFrame has a different setting which needs editing once applied to a pane. To edit a module on Manage Modules page, click on Edit icon next to the module name. Let me quickly brief you on the script injection module of SageFrame. Now this module enables you to share or add other scripts that you may want to add in your site. So to add a new script to this module, you need to click on add new option and you need to provide the script name. I'm going to inject a script for weather forecast and I'm quickly going to put in the script that I have in handy for weather forecast and you just quickly need to click on the save option. You can also edit the module by clicking on this edit icon. To see the script on the front end, you need to click on this preview option. And the script that you just added can be seen on the pane that you applied the modules in the backend of the website. Now we can also easily manage page modules through an inline editor by clicking on this edit icon. The inline editor saves the time from having to navigate to each page in dashboard for modification. The users with edit permission can also make changes to the module's content. And once you click on this edit icon to update the changes, once you are done making changes to the module, you need to click on the save option and the applied changes will be instantly updated on the live site. To learn more about creating modules in SageFrame, refer to our YouTube channel. I hope this video was of help to you. Thanks for watching and enjoy using SageFrame.